Greetings Laddingtons, it is the 13th of October this fine day and this scene you see playing out before us is actually set on this fateful day. So what happened? Yes, you see a Templar and this is the date, the historical date where they got cucked by the Pope and the French King. They wanted to get rid of the Templars because they, they had gotten too powerful and they did not want to have to contend with a very powerful organization with a lot of money. So what they did, simply they excommunicate them. They went into their castle, which we are at now by the way. So I thought to make this video at this day, even though I have already made a video. So uh, yeah, that is what is up. So um, it was a uh, little while since I played this game, but um, I do I do like it. It's one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. So uh, we're just gonna chill out, hang out a bit here. And this will be the autumn gaming. Uh, so I'm doing some autumn gaming before I hit the gym. That looks like an assassin. We need to illuminate him to the teachings of Christ. So an... Um, oh, I perhaps should have made a leap of faith. Uh, I saw an absolutely hilarious comment uh, speaking of Christ. It was from some sort of larpy pagan uh, as opposed to a good pagan. And he said, you have cut your hair. Will you start promoting Christianity now? I don't really know what the two have to do with each other, but uh, it was fun. Look at that, mad cunt. You are but a dog, and I am your master. Uh, then I saw another hilarious comment, which said, you're dead to me, Marcus. I thought it was fun, but... Uh, all of that aside, everyone else was really kind and uh, pleasant uh, in regards to me cutting my hair. So thank you for all the kind compliments. Die, unbeliever. Here we are. That is what happens if you criticize the Templars. So yeah, for those of you who aren't aware of Assassin's Creed, it's based on historical events, but as you saw right there, it's also uh, some fictional uh, things intermixed in the, uh, in the story. But uh, the main reason I like it so much is primarily the aesthetics and because I get motivation to train. So you can see right there some classic European aesthetics, as I talked about in um, in a recent video when I was in Spain. And now we are in France. They have captured the Grand Master Jacques de Molay and there is an assassin and the assassin order is based upon the Hashashin order, the historical order of uh, assassins from uh, the Middle East that got cucked, got destroyed by the Mongols in turn but uh, they had a uh, they had a good run, the assassins. Uh, and that's where you derive the word assassin. Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You! Cast! 
consumed in flames of hunger and wrath. Thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Order, peace, and illumination yeah, right. sounds glorious indeed. Okay, I have a visual. Hey there. Hello. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be yes, brief. a bit. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Obviously, Please listen carefully. yes. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, oh, sounds they familiar. For history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload All right, sequence, let's get to it. Uh, AD 16, B 13, I 87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Sounds absolutely epic. Count me in. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below, and I will read all the comments. So let me know what your thoughts on the Templars are. It always makes for a good discussion whenever Templars are mentioned. So um, yeah, fire away in the comment section thoughts on the Templar order and thoughts on the Pope and uh, King Philip of France if they did the right thing or if they transgressed against a valiant order of defenders of Europe. Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. <sighs> no exploring, he says, but something tells me. Oh, and a short note on the right hand side, you have the classical European aesthetics. And there is a little girl. Alright. Let's start the thing. I might actually cut here until we get to the action. So, uh, yeah. I will be back in just a bit. Alright, I am back. We need this scene for the story. The most tragic scene has unfolded. Father? We should all be called. Come here, girls. Now. Father? He has been killed by a Templar. Thirteen years later. 
that went fairly Hello, hard, mate. so you stoop to thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a <laughs> dead man! Ooh, they have been gambling. Yourself. I do not endorse <laughs> such barbarism. Uh oh. He lost it again. I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. <laughs> Alright, we need to catch this bastard before he. Sorry. Calls the uh, police, I suppose. And still a bit of a tutorial here, but uh, it's uh, it's good anyway. Like the, the aesthetics of uh, this time period, I'd say Napoleonic France peak aesthetics, um, or some other time periods, of course. Right, catch him then. Boom. There we are. Got you, mate. Get it, blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come over here and say that. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Get back here. Boom, boom. That sort of uniform. Absolutely. Absolutely aesthetic. Ah, yes. Um, in my humble opinion, you are free to disagree. In the comment section, you can tell me what you believe is the most aesthetic time period in Europe. Let's say the Roman Empire also high up on that list. Right, we'll have to go to this and fine where in God's name have you been? people. Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding, nothing to... Your master's arbor and a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here. Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. <laughs> a bit cheeky, but in a good, good-natured way. And of course, Elise was the redhead on the wall. His, um, the girl he met in the beginning. So, we have to uh, take in the nice sights here. And uh, we also have to look at this epic statue. Sickening. We have to uh, talk with uh, a particular Laddington uh, to do something fun. So, this is the lad. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Sire, 
Tire de la serre. Wait! Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu. Alright, we are on some trouble, for some parkour action. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. <laughs> Give it here. I, I do say he needs the training, very, though. Very important. Yes, the I chubby guy. The first time. I'll see that he gets it. But, um... Our dear protagonist here is, um... Very keen Stop. on... Seeing this Elise, so, uh... We have to do it this way. And we get some good... Parkour training here too. Something I've always wanted to uh, to do. Parkour. I haven't really gotten around to do it particularly often, though. Tried it a few years back, but um, yeah, it's a um, it's a fun um, fun activity. Parkour. So let us try to catch. Ah no. Wait. Yeah, we have it here. Go on, mate. Hmm. Follow the carriage. Maybe I can just jump down. Ah, there we are. Noise. Noise, mate. What I need is a bird's eye view. Bird's eye view, you say, which means we have to climb this thing and avoid this gauge. So anyway, for me, I wait some good old push press and strict press in the Temple of Iron, and I will actually film some there as well for a Gain's Kitchen video. Um, Which I will release tomorrow, I suppose. Aha, I might want to avoid these Laddingtons. So they don't arrest me and throw me into jail. Where all of my gains will disappear. All of my agility gains, too. You can, of course, also comment below what you will train today. So there is something to comment for everyone. It's also good to get some pleasant interaction going. Always nice. So let's admire this view now. Boom. There she is. Alright, I will actually do the following, that I will go to the gym now, because I, uh, yeah, I need to train. But uh, I mainly wanted to do this video since it was the 13th of October on this day, so it's a bit of historic date. So uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, see you in the next video. XXO, boom.